North Carolina. Well, ladies and gentlemen, you're at the right rally. Can you believe that comment yesterday? Somebody went out and says, Jesus is king. And what did Kamala say? You're at the wrong rally. Well, everybody in here, you're at the right rally. Guys, this isn't about politics. This isn't about politics. We've all seen political campaigns. This has become a movement of absolute love. It started as politics, but this is no longer that. This is so much bigger than that. And I want to tell a story that I'm not sure if I've ever told in front of a big crowd, but I'll never forget. It was the primaries of 2016, and Mike Huckabee just came off the stage from one of the debates, and he comes up to me and he goes, Eric, I'm going to drop out of this race because I feel the hand of God on your father's shoulders. And I'll never forget that. And honestly, I, I'm not sure if I knew what it meant at the time, but I certainly do today. Between the dirty dossiers, between the fake impeachments, what they did to Brett Kavanaugh, the way they went after our family, the 111 subpoenas that I've personally gotten, the fact that they tried to throw him off the ballots in Colorado, they tried to throw him off the ballots in Maine, they raided his home, they raided Melania's closet, they raided Barron's room, they censored him, they tried to take away his First Amendment, they went after him, they took him off of Twitter, they took him off of Facebook, they took him off of Instagram, they weaponized every district attorney, every attorney general, in far left states against my father. And yet in the darkest moments, guys in the darkest moments, I felt it every single time. I felt it standing behind him in freezing cold courtrooms. In the darkest moments you can have possibly imagined, there was always this miraculous light. The last one being Butler, Pennsylvania, when about a minute before that awful attempt at his life, and he was saved, and somebody was watching down on him, that beautiful American flag folded up like a perfect angel right above his head. If there is no greater sign that there is a God out there, I, I, I don't know what is. I don't know what is. It is so clear to me, more so than ever before, that he was put here for this mission to save this country. We need God in our life. We need God in society. We need children to respect God. We need God in our schools. And if Kamala Harris won't say it, I will. We love God and we will always be a, a, a nation of faith. And so to all the incredible pastors in here, you know, I, I'm so honored to have a small part in putting together this event because I don't think there's anything that's more important to us as a country than to have all of you stand here. Guys, we're going to win this. We're going to win this. We're no longer going to have Obama weaponizing the IRS to go after churches and to go after faith leaders. We're no longer going to try and remove the words under God from the Pledge of Allegiance or in God we trust from our currency. We're no longer going to do this. We're going to allow people to worship God as they see fit. And we're going to return to a nation of faith. So to everybody in North Carolina, I love you. I named my daughter after this incredible state. My wife's from here, a couple hours away on the coast. 
to our incredible team from Trump National Charlotte sitting over here, by the way. We're just down the road on, on Lake Norman. Uh, but to all of you, um, I love you. Um, and to one more person, to my father, who's right behind that curtain back there. The man has amazed me every single day of my life. Before politics, his vigor, his endurance amazed me as I've watched through every single sham, as I've watched every arrow that he's taken in the back, when I watch his schedule every single day. You know, it's funny, oftentimes you see these uh, New York Times reporters, right, they come out and, does Donald Trump have the stamina? And after, you know, the third rally, they're sitting in a corner sleeping with five Red Bulls around them, right? And the guy never stops. He's, he's been an inspiration to me. He's an inspiration to our entire family. I have never been more proud to stand on a stage with anybody in my life, and I will stand on the stage with him until I am literally dead. Our entire family is so proud of him, but this entire country is so proud of him. So, guys, we love you. We appreciate you. God bless you.